So this is a spindle sander, moves up and down and, and rotates. Um, we have one here, which is a, a has a cabinet below it, and we have one that is a, a tabletop one over there next to the drill press and next to the uh, cordless drills. Both operate the same way. When we turn this on, you'll see that the direction of rotation is counter, uh, counterclockwise. So we want to be going against that rotation. So when I work on this, and I don't have the vacuum on, we'll have the vacuum on, we're using this so it gets rid of the dust, but I want to go against the rotation. And I want to be moving as I go here. I'm looking to, if I'm not moving, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of uh, scallops in this, a whole bunch of uh, semicircles that are cutting this. If I'm moving, I can get a nice, uh, consistent edge to this. My last pass, I'm gonna come all the way from here, work along my line, the entire arc. A nice consistent <laughs> circle here. I'll just take this piece here, set it on top of the one that wasn't marked for its radius, and I'll just take a pencil and I'll scribe that line onto that, and I'll cut that one with, with that one. Cut that one second. Okay? It'll be a close enough arc to that that nobody's gonna be able to tell the difference. It also is easier to sand one piece at a time than it is when they're stacked up like that. So that's a decision that you make. Either or is fine with me. But now we have to cut out to smooth these out. I did a pretty good job of cutting those. But the only place that we know we get a nice, perfectly straight edge, and we want this to be perfectly straight because we have a step going on top of it here. And it rocks it all, that kind of defeats the purpose of the step there. We want it to be, to be stable when we get on top of this. So we want a perfectly straight edge, and the only place we can do that is the table saw.